Karen Harriot, Geomatic Specialist. In this video, we'll be looking at setting up the TerraSync software. This is the fifth module in Unit 2 in the online Geomatics and Geospatial NVQJ Level 2 program. TerraSync is a data collection software that requires GPS or GNSS connection to collect data. At the end of this video, you'll be able to configure the coordinate system, GNSS, and login settings for TerraSync software. Throughout the video, you will be exposed to the following employability skills. Collect, analyze, and organize information. Plan and organize activities. Work with others in a team. Use technology. Improve own performance and personal management. As it regards to data collection, using the GNSS technology, you have the option of using mobile devices that have data collection software or mobile devices that are strictly used for the purpose of GIS mapping or GPS mapping. We also have the option to use mobile applications such as the Esri Collector for ArcGIS application. For this demonstration, we will be using the TerraSync application. In this segment, we will be configuring the coordinate system. A method for identifying the location of a point on Earth. So I opened the TerraSync for desktop application. There's also the mobile application as well. The view is similar as with the mobile device. The only difference is that you won't have the split screen as we have here. In the TerraSync software, you have five sections. You can map, you have data, navigation, status, and setup sections as well. Each section has its own list of either settings or tools that may be employed when conducting data collection. Of course, a GNSS connection will be required to conduct data collection in the field. However, this is just a desktop application. As such, we won't be able to connect to GNSS in this mode. In order to use your mobile devices for GNSS data collection, you must set up this equipment. In doing so, you can set up your coordinate systems to include settings such as system type, for example, latitude and longitude, your coordinate unit, for example, meters, as well as your altitude reference and unit. In this segment, we will be configuring the GNSS settings. The GNSS setting tells your GPS device how to connect to satellite. To configure these settings, you would set up the productivity, which basically sets the device to a desired performance in the field. So a low productivity performance draws for fewer satellites and conserves battery life, while high productivity always opts for the best performance. You would also set up your DOP type which is your dilution of precision, meaning you're setting your ideal error propagation. When you are collecting data, it will never be 100% accurate. As such, you want to tell your device how to distribute this inaccuracy, and your DOP settings will allow you to do this. You also set your signal to noise ratio, which is setting your noise interference. So you want to limit your background signals so they don't interfere with your satellite connection. You also set your minimum satellite elevation. Now, we will be looking at configuring the logging settings. Setting up your logging rate, you are telling your equipment or you're telling your device how fast, how much time, or how much distance should be passing in between your points or your vertices that will be collected. In addition, you can, as in the case of the TerraSync software, change the file name settings as shown here. You can add a file name prefix so that when a new file is created, it is automatically saved with that prefix. Configuring the between feature logging settings means that you can tell the software at what interval should a GNSS location be collected, even when you are not collecting an actual feature. After setting up your device, you can proceed to collect real world data in the form of points, lines, and polygons. Thank you for watching this video on setting up the TerraSync software. You would have learned how to configure the coordinate system, GNSS, and login settings for TerraSync software. And you would have been exposed to the following employability skills. Collect, analyze, and organize information. Plan and organize activities. 
work with others in a team, use technology, improve own performance, and personal management.